So you wanna know how to get the most out of your solar panels. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about the five key questions or the five key factors that you need to take into account to make sure that you're getting the best payback on your solar investment. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 12 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find uh, reviews on solar panels, batteries, inverters, uh, pretty much any piece of technology that makes up a home solar power system. Now you're also going to find short educational videos like today's video where we're going to be discussing the five key factors to make sure that you get the best or they get to get the most out of your solar panel investment. Now the first factor is, or the first question you want to ask yourself is, what is your goal with looking at solar power? Uh, is the goal to get the best dollar for dollar payback or do you want to just have the most efficient, highest power output system possible? Now, the reason I pose this question first is that oftentimes these are going to be competing goals. Um, it's, it's very common in solar that using a lower priced solar panel, which may not be the top efficiency panel, but if you can get it at a low competitive price point, by using a lower cost solar panel and perhaps adding one or two more solar panels to get to the total power output that you need, uh, oftentimes that approach is going to give you a better return on investment if you're just looking at a dollar for dollar return on investment than if you were to spend extra and install premium solar panels. Now when we talk about premium solar panels, what it means is they, they, they've got higher module efficiency, meaning that they're able to produce more usable electricity out of a smaller roof, uh, roof area. So if you have to squeeze more power out of a small area, it might make sense to pay the higher price for premium panels, but if you have plenty of roof space available and your main goal is to get the best dollar for dollar payback, then you may want to look at one of the lower priced solar panel options. Now, the second factor, of course, is using the ideal roof pitch and orientation. Now, if you're watching this video and you're in the Northern Hemisphere, then ideally you want to have your solar panels facing south. Right? Ideally, perfect due south or as south facing as possible. In addition to the, the correct direction or the correct orientation, you also want to consider the pitch angle of the solar panels. Uh, and and to, to optimize for the best year round production, you want to use a pitch angle that is equal to your degrees north latitude. So if you look at your degrees north latitude from the equator, let's say you're 30 degrees north latitude, then you want, ideally, you want a 30 degrees above flat tilt for your solar panel array. Now again, we're talking about if we're trying to optimize for perfect optimal performance, in most cases, we have to work with whatever the house gets us, which means that we want to look at south facing roof surfaces first and ideally close to that uh, uh, with a pitch angle close to that uh, degrees north latitude. Now, another thing you might consider is ground mounting the solar panels. Since we can't really change the roof line of the house, uh, if the roof line of the house is not ideal in terms of roof pitch and orientation, then we can always ground mount the solar panels. And one of the advantages of ground mounting the solar panels is we can orient them exactly at the most ideal tilt angle and orientation. Now, of course, you have to have land to do this. So assuming you have the land and you're okay with the slightly higher cost of having ground mounted solar panels, that's one way that you can get the most performance out of your solar panels is putting them on a ground mount where you get the ideal tilt, the ideal orientation. And there's a third factor where ground mounts have an advantage and that is in the thermal performance of the solar panel. You know, very simply, when you're talking about roof mounted solar panels, those, those panels have to operate at extreme high temperatures on the rooftop, oftentimes. And so it's not uncommon in the United States during summer months, you could see temperatures of 130, 140, even 150 degrees or higher on the rooftop. And solar panels, like a lot of electronics, when that temperature rises above a certain level, 
you're losing performance, you're losing efficiency uh, the higher you go in temperature. And so one of the advantages of the roof mount solar pa panels is that they stay cooler and they're able to cool better because they can breathe. They're basically open air in the back. So they operate at a cooler temperature, which means the solar panels themselves operate at a higher efficiency. Now, the fourth factor that you wanna look at is pairing the solar panels with the proper inverter. Now, every solar power system that's hooked up to our home system or hooked up to the electric grid has to have some sort of an inverter as part of the system. And what the inverter does is it, it converts the direct current the DC electricity that, that natively comes off of the solar panels into high voltage alternating current, which is what our homes are wired for and what the electric grid's wired for. And ultimately that's the form the electricity needs to be in before the appliances in our home can use it. And so not only do you wanna look at the solar panel power rating, but you also wanna make sure that the inverter's AC output power rating uh, keeps up with or close to the DC rating. Now, this has been an ongoing debate between different manufacturers and different players within the solar industry. But in general, we consider a good rule of thumb to keep a DC to AC size ratio of 120% or less. Meaning that if you have, let's say, a 12,000 watt solar panel array, then you wanna have an inverter with an AC power output rating of at least 10,000 watts. That way your DC to AC ratio is always 120% or less. Now, if you go over this 120% DC AC size ratio, you increase your chance of running into clipping loss. And when we talk about clipping loss, this is where the solar panels have potential to output more power than they are, but they're limited at the inverter's AC power output limit. And so that's called clipping, when the panels could produce more, but the inverter's AC power output limit limits the output of the system. So we wanna minimize that clipping loss whenever possible. And then finally, the fifth and probably the most important factor when looking at going solar and getting the most out of solar is making sure that you choose the right contractor. Folks, I've said this again and again, you know, when you're looking at a solar power system, you don't wanna look at this as an off the shelf product that you're gonna buy once and then forget about it. What you're really purchasing is a construction project that's gonna be executed by your contractor, your solar installation contractor. Uh, and, and usually as part of that installation, you're purchasing a 25 year guarantee that they're gonna keep that system healthy for you. So when you look at selecting the right contractor, don't just ask yourself, is this the best equip equipment or is this the lowest price I can get? But what you really need to ask yourself is, is this the company that I have the most confidence in of being a good, solid, reliable, long-term partner? You know, again, we've seen it a number of times, especially in 2023 with over 100 solar company bankruptcies. Um, some solar companies, they're, they're here one year and then a year, two, three down the road, they're not here anymore. And that's of course not the position you wanna be in if you're investing in a system and really considering it as a long-term investment, a long-term asset. Remember, the warranty guarantees are only a strong as the companies making those guarantees. So this has been a discussion of the five key factors to get the most out of your solar panels. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have these new videos coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at solar panel and battery options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote, you just need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the best deal. Um, as always, feel free, you can reach out to us on the link below there, set up a call with a solar expert, or just use the free online calculator tool to get an idea of how much you should be paying for solar in your area. Well, folks, Folks, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I thank you for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.